Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sam from BSC Tech. In today's video, I will explain how you can fix uh, uh, your printer issues, uh, the thermal printer issues we are talking about. Brother, uh, if you have uh, Brother uh, QL700 or uh, anything else, you can uh, watch this video till the end. First thing we need to do is land on uh, the actual page. Uh, the problem started recently when we migrated from Windows uh, 7 to Windows 10 and all of a sudden uh, the entire interface is messed up and I'm unable to print anything. So today I'm going to show you how you can fix this problem and fix your thermal printer issues that can be used for various reasons uh, if you have an eBay store or Amazon store or a fulfillment center or if you have uh, ebay shop or anything like uh, that is uh, connected with printing this video will help you out so first thing you need to do is uh, land on this page i have a qs 700 you can have any other variant or model uh, for that reason you need to go to the support and type your model here qs 700 that's my case and uh, I have to land on this page. Remember, this is a Windows 10 and I don't have even a single software or driver installed on this device. So we'll have to start from scratch. Let's assume it's a brand new Windows and we will click on uh, view downloads area. Uh, from here, you can select Windows, Mac or Linux automatically detected Windows 10 64 bit, which we will click OK. So here we have, uh, as you can see on my screen, bunch of softwares which we need to download. The first and the most important one is software and document installer. Then we have a driver. Then we have ptouch editor. And uh, if you print uh, address book labels, you can download these handy. Then we have ptouch software updater and the driver deployment wizard. And finally, the update tool so we will go through one by one we will click this first and then we will click on the driver uh, even though you have downloaded and installed all of these softwares the problem still stays there then this video will help you out and we will try to do some troubleshooting on that so guys we are done with the basic installation process as you can see we have ptouch editor on screen files are basically ready and as you can see the printer is connected uh and we have opened this software for the very first time uh here we have a connect database if you have uh, older programs you can always come back and the issue here is uh, we have only a standard format where we can't see anything else other than these uh, formats it previously used to be like a list of uh, options where you can pick and choose the label type we will click on this area and then we will click on brother ql and then it will give us an option selected printer does not support all full colors switching to monochrome display that's absolutely fine click on the format tab so here we have uh, bits and pieces large shipping label let's say we type something test page and let's increase the size to 40 and let's add a decorative frame as well for example this one and let's add some symbols for example fragile anything let's say postage symbol and then we can decrease the size of this it's very straightforward and simple process guys and when we click on the print as you can see we are unable to get any print from this printer this is the problem guys everything is in order uh, if we click on the printer icon we have an issue for some reason if we disconnect and as you can see the sound and we will restart again this is the problem guys uh, the page sorry the paper is installed and it's working perfectly fine there is no issue whatsoever so here is the glitch guys this is where you are stuck it's a very easy and straightforward thing you need to do uh, is uh, you need to restart this and uh, then i will explain how to solve this problem once you restart this uh, p-touch editor 
you can always come back on this page as you can see we still have the same issue we will select the qs l700 we will click on large shipping label which is what we need for ebay or amazon or other stores and then as you can see guys on these buttons you have to click and hold this button which is uh, as you can see here if you can read this this is editor light so you have to click and hold this button for let's say two seconds and when you hear this sound you should be able to fix your problem and if we type now anything like a test page so then you print this page and add a frame or something like a decorative frame. let's say print print it as it is and see if this works so we will click on the print and as you can see guys that our print page is out and we are ready to rock and roll so this is the problem guys uh, if you face any issue this is the main problem uh, you need to download and install all your required uh, drivers and after that you have to download and uh, install the updated software version after that you go through the, all the basic process you need to make sure that this button is disabled this is enabled by default on most printers if this does not uh, help then restart your pc remove all these softwares update your windows as you can see on my uh, windows screen we have some pending updates which might cause a problem as well at some point and uh, uh, now the bonus point uh, if you want to uh, print for ebay and uh, we will open the easiest way is to take a screenshot and you can always click on this and that will be gone into your uh, screen holder page and there you can expand and click on print and it will print yes it's time consuming if you print a lot of uh, uh, prints actually if you do a lot of printing and this is not a reasonable or favorable uh, option but if you do small printing like five ten pages a day then you can use this option and save some money as well that was it for today's video guys i hope you have enjoyed it if you have any feedback or comments do let us know in the comment section below i'll see you soon with another video till then take good care of yourself have a good day